Here's the first frame from today's session, straight from MPC-051. No filters, no color mapping, just the raw capture. You can see the glow holding a tight, concentrated center, with the outer region fading smoothly into the background. Even at this resolution, there's a faint extension pushing off to the right, lining up almost perfectly with the solar direction marker. It's subtle, but it shows the object isn't sitting still. There's movement in the light, even before we apply any enhancement. Now take a look at the intensity mapped version from the same session. The color scale makes the inner structure impossible to miss. That tight red center shows where the brightness is most concentrated, and the surrounding green and blue layers reveal how the light spreads outward. What stands out here is how compact the core still is. It holds a clean, circular shape instead of stretching or distorting. And on the right side, the glow tapers off along the same direction we saw in the raw frame. Even at this stage, the object is starting to show a preferred orientation in its outer light, hinting that something inside is pushing material unevenly. Now we're back to a neutral grayscale view, and this one tells its own story. The core is compact, sharply defined, and darker than the surrounding glow, exactly what you'd expect from a concentrated central source. What's interesting here is how uniform the outer region looks. There's no obvious stretching, no fragmentation, and no turbulence around the center. But that faint extension toward the right is still there. Even without enhancement or color mapping, you can see the light pulling slightly in one direction. It's subtle, but consistent across every frame so far, and that consistency means it's real. Now here's where today's big change becomes obvious. This is the rotational gradient version of the same frame, and the filter strips away the soft glow so only directional structures remain. And look at what jumps out. A clear, bright plume pushing outward with a sharper, thinner feature extending in the opposite direction. This is the new feature showing up today. A jet-like outflow paired with a faint counter jet. The rotation filter isn't creating this pattern, it's revealing it. The central region splits into two opposing directions, which means the material isn't being released evenly. Something inside is turning, pushing the brightest flow along a specific axis. The first frame of the night where the structure becomes unmistakable. Here's the full sequence from tonight, lined up side by side. When you see all four processing levels together, the pattern becomes much clearer. The raw frame shows a clean, compact glow. The intensity map tightens the core. The grayscale version confirms symmetry without distortion. And then the rotational gradient pulls the mask off completely, revealing the new jet-like feature extending outward with a faint counterline behind it. This isn't a processing glitch. It's the same structure emerging consistently through every method. Each step removes a layer of noise until the underlying shape stands out. And today, that shape has direction, a defined axis where fresh material is being pushed away from the core. This combined panel is the strongest confirmation that something changed inside 3i Atlas over the last 24 hours. Here's the longer view, a full two-week evolution of 3i Atlas from November 15th through December 3rd, all from the same observatory. When you line these frames up, you can see the transformation happening step by step. In the earliest images, the glow is tiny, round, and almost featureless. By late November, the coma begins to expand, and the light spreads more unevenly. Moving into December, the shape starts pushing outward, along a consistent direction the same axis we saw in today's high contrast frames. Nothing here is explosive or sudden. It's a slow, controlled buildup. But the important part is this. Every single date shows the same directional drift, long before today's jet-like feature fully appeared. The groundwork for this change has been visible for weeks. Today is just the moment it becomes undeniable. Now let's put today's behavior in context. This plot compares the dust production activity of 3i Atlas against two well-studied objects, 
2i Borisov and Comet C 2020 F3 Neowise. And the difference is striking. Look at the orange line. That's 3i Atlas. Its AFR values sit way above both Borisov and Neowise across the same heliocentric distances. Not only is it more active, it also shows a much steeper decline as it moves away from the sun. That means the dust output peaks hard and fades quickly, which is exactly what we're seeing in the images. Sharp directional features instead of a wide, slow-blowing cloud. Borisov sits at the bottom with consistently low activity. Neowise sits in the middle with a normal Oort cloud profile. And then there's 3i Atlas, in a category by itself. This helps explain why the new jet-like structure is showing up so clearly today. The object isn't just active, it's hyperactive compared to anything we've seen with the other interstellar visitor. So that's where we are right now. Today's frames don't just show more dust or a brighter glow. They show structure, a real directional feature cutting through the coma in a way we haven't seen from this object before. And whether it's rotation, asymmetric outflow, or something we haven't pinned down yet, one thing is clear. 3i Atlas isn't done surprising us. Now here's what I want to know from you. Does this look like normal behavior for an interstellar visitor? Or do you think something more unusual is going on here? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read all of them. If you're enjoying these daily updates, hit like so more people can follow the story. And make sure you subscribe. This object is changing fast, and I'll be tracking every new development as it happens. Stay curious? and I'll see you in the next one.